Hey friends, Joel here with you today. When my oldest daughter was a little kid, we took her to the park one day and she's getting to meet some of the other kids on the playground and they're doing the traditional way of greeting. Hey, what's your name? And our daughter shares her name and she says, hey, my name is Indy. And the kids are like, oh, Cindy, nice to meet you. And she's like, no, 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 my name is Indy. Oh, Mindy. And she's like, no, my name is Indy. She was so adamant that they knew what her name was because there's something powerful in knowing someone's name. We, we share our names with each other because it's a desire for us to, to get to know who the other person is. Do you know that God does that? God shares his name with us. In the book of Exodus, we see this encounter with God Moses, and he shares his name with Moses because God wants to be known, and he wants us to know him. I would recommend a book to you called God Has a Name by a pastor in the Portland area, John Mark Comer, and he really unpacks this idea in a beautiful way in this book that helps us understand how we can know God. And I love what he says about this. He says this, that God is a person and by a person, I mean he's a relational being, not just some impersonal energy force or a chapter in a systematic textbook of theology or a world religion. No, he's a relational being who wants to, well, relate to people like you and me. He wants to know and be known. He's a person who wants to be in a relationship with you. That's such a powerful idea for us, that God's not like the Bet Midler God watching us from a distance. He's a God who wants to come close and be with us in our story. I love how James captures this in his letter in the book of James, and he writes these words. He says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. And James doesn't write that to people who are living in their best moment. He's writing that to people who aren't living their best life. And yet, God is still inviting them to come close to him so he can do a beautiful work in their life. So friends, let's do that. Let's invite God to come close. God has a name. Let's not be afraid to reach out and invite him into our story because he wants to be with us today. And so as you go through today, know that God has come close and wants to reveal himself to you. So invite him to show up in every moment of your life today.